Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom, sovereign and sisters, I'm fixing this. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann and Yesiah, the Christ Yesiah, the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why, I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12th scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot wrinkle or blemish i greet you all in his glorious name is the christ all right you can skip this bit and find the main message all right i am going to do some housekeeping remember my name is a carrie ann it is in solid gray border with a tick by the side anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked demon you need to rebuke and report them please watch the video to the end there's a sinner's pride there for you we want you into the kingdom of ahaya all right and uh like i sometime we'll do the top 20 and beautiful beloved i call out your name give your names a little shout out now and then i used to do it all the time but sometimes i get really really busy i can't be going to like and communicate with brothers and sisters so that's why i don't do the top 20 all the time all right hallelujah to the most high. all right thank you this is a lot of thank you now thank you for liking the videos thank you for sharing the videos thank you for watching the video thank you for um coming in the comment section and fellowshipping with your brothers and sisters and subscribing to the channel thank you for those of you who have blessed me through paypal i appreciate it and those of you who have blessed me on this platform I want you to know that i appreciate it as well ahaya bless you and your entire whole soul glory be to the heart to the most high ahaya hallelujah all right we are near we're not only near we are not only near to the returning of the beautiful glorious messiah wonderful wondrous king of kings and lord of lords we're not only near to him but we are also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty antichrist yes brothers and sisters daniel chapter 7 verse 25 tells you that satan through the antichrist will change time laws and season this world will look like uh, uh the book of eli like mad max type world that type of post apocalyptic wicked dirty world you don't want to be here but unfortunately some of us will be caught into the antichrist reign and regime that's why higher says the Isaiah says pray to be found worthy to escape these things coming upon the earth i believe when he made that statement he is talking about the woman the woman in revelation 12 this is a prophecy that is at the edge of our stool it is about to happen brothers and sisters not long now like not long this revelation 12 prophecy is at the edge of our stool about to happen uh the, Re the revelation 12 there's two women in revelation in, Re in the book of revelation revelation 12 women and revelation 17 women the revelation 17 women represent the wicked apostate evil church and the revelation 12 women represents a righteous church but not only the righteous church is also a representation of the 12 scattered tribe of jacob 12 stars the 12 stars around the woman's head represent the 12 hebrew scattered tribe uh, that was scattered through the transatlantic slavery business is. you know all about that scattered all over the place scattered all over in africa the most that uh, higher is going to regather those remnant how unfair would it be for the lord to just close his eyes and see his people scattered all over the place the wicked went into africa did what they did scattered the people and then the lord don't do anything about it the devil is a dirty lie i don't know nothing about the 1948 state so don't say to me sister karen but ahaya has already regathered israel in 1948 i don't know who they are so don't ask me it's not them they do not fit due to run me 28 like ain't them all right um so you need to read uh isaiah 11 jeremiah 30 jeremiah 15 jeremiah 16 uh, jeremiah 50 written 51 and all of that I have to read the bible to understand what i'm talking about i have to read isaiah chapter 60 as well and revelation 12 first of all you need to ask higher who is a woman in revelation 12 it's not only just a church a true biblical 
who absolutely love love, love the most start higher but is a 12 hebrew the woman represents a 12 hebrew yeshaelite it means that a higher is going to do an event called the great worldwide second exodus that's why the woman flee just like the first exodus in Muslim time they fled into the wilderness same thing is going to happen in this modern day dispensation we're fleeing we're fleeing dirty babylon so we're going to a place of safety in due course all right so that's going to happen before the sixth seal opens no jesus christ as you call him is coming any day any minute now that's a wicked lie not true the ahaya has to regather the 12 scattered tribe that's been scattered in the transatlantic slavery we have to be regathered like and then when that's done then look out for yesiah because he's coming back that's a six seal opening all right we have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near. Prophetic banner, We Are Near. Prophetic theme song, We Are Near. Truly, We Are Near to a lot of things. And the song goes like this. It's a song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. All right. And fitting song for these end time prophet prophecies that we're doing. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now, oh, now you are, oh, now. You are, oh now you are, oh now, hallelujah, yes, we are near, oh, we can sing that song with, right, confidence, all right, remember I have two ministries, isn't it, one for the end time prophetic ministries, and one for the Hebrew, Yasha Helai, so this is the end time prophetic ministry, um, message that I'm giving now. I think at the beginning of this week, I did a video, I uploaded a video telling brothers and sisters that Babylon, Babylon UK is in the process, the first time ever in their history that they're going to um, upgrade their alert system like Babylon US and Babylon Canada where they send out alarms to people's phones. So if there's a massive destruction, whatever that destruction may be, all right, yes, Lord, I know. I bet when the aliens um, invasion happened, no alarm is going to come on the system because they're one and the same with the fallen angels. So they will send out alarm for terrorists, they'll send out alarm for big fire earthquake. But when the, when the fallen angel invasion happens, I'm sure you're not going to see an alert. <gasps> flying saucers in the sky no because the wicked are going to tell you that they're your friends but anyways I just, that just came into my spirit as i'm about to give the message all right so these wicked caesars these wicked pharaohs decided to um do an upgrade in terms of you know sending out alarms to people on their phone and they gave a date and time so on the 23rd of april 2023 23rd, listen, the, the date is important, isn't it? The dates are important. 23rd of April, 2023, at 3 o'clock. What, what do you notice with the dates? Come on, our church. I see, I see the numbers. Let me say it one more time and figure it out. I'm going to tell you the answer, right? On the 23rd of april 2023 at 3 p.m they're going to send alerts a test run alert to everybody's phone what do you notice about the numbers that i've given to you yeah the all of threes adding up to six 3 p.m 23rd, three there, 2003, 2000, well, 2023, can you see all the threes? These people work with numbers because everything that these dirty Caesar do is occultic. Always remember that. You see, the problem with the church is that they're so conditioned to believe their Caesars that when the Caesars come out and say the A, B, and C, they say E, D. FG, they finish it off for the Caesars. They don't test the spirit. Some of these church folks don't use discernment of spirits. 
of the discernment of his of the Holy Spirit, right? Using the Holy Spirit as a lead of discernment, right? So they're coming out with all the this is an occultic stuff. This is the, sorry, this is an occultic stuff, brothers and sisters. It's not right. Now, when I came and I gave the video and I told you, brothers and sisters, I leave the video link in the description box. Um, that the coming in Babylon, UK coming. 20 something is on my lip, it's annoying me. That's all I'm brothers and sisters. I'm sorry. Right. There's an what's an eyelash? Eyelash doing a me tongue. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory. Alright, so I did the video, I leave it link in the description box. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it. Um so they're coming out and there's the basically saying that yeah, this is it now. This is the way that Babylon is moving. Alert is gonna now be on your phone. Alright, if there's a a, a threat to life but like i say when the flying saucers are up there in our skies the fallen angels are hovering about and carrying on silly i'm sure you won't be getting any alerts as as threat to life no i'll be doing it because then they leave with the fallen ones but anyways a higher is our protection so the date is um those three three p.m um 23rd of April, that's another three, 2023, that's another three, so three threes, they work with numbers, don't let these devils fool you, they do work with numbers, brothers and sisters, so that's the first thing, all right, now, when I gave that video, I went into prior to the most High. Because I'm going to be very, very truthful to you, and you might say, oh, Sister Carrie, and you're taking it too far, really, <laughs> really am i really taking it far but anyways when i heard that they're going to put this alert on our system right in my spirit i said to the father i said to higher i said higher i don't want no alert coming to me for it's big and serious brothers and sisters i said it to the most i, I had a conversation with them after i did the video i said father and that was sometime this week right i said higher i said i don't trust these devils I said, I don't want no alarm coming to me phone. I don't want no alerts. I don't want none, zero, zilt. I don't want it, Father. How can I stop it? And I think in the comment section, as I was reading some of the comments, they were saying, oh, you can't turn it off. There's no way you can stop these alerts. Da, 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 da. You know, it's a government, Caesar, that's doing it and all of that. And I said, Father, no. I said, Lord, I don't want, I don't want it on me phone. I said, I don't trust them. Because I do believe that, I do believe that the alert is a form of tracking. It, it, it is a form of tracking people. Because you see, they've got to know the numbers. So when they're issuing out the mark of the beast, the 666, they don't want to leave any stone unturned. So when these alerts pop up on your phone, they know exactly where you are. They know your location. They know everything. And we know that the dirty Caesars, they love, they absolutely love to do false flags and say, oh, this is happening when it's a false flag, when it's them that's created it. So I began to speak to the Lord and I said, Father, this is my heart. I said, they're going to send this thing to my phone to test around this alert and once the alert comes then you know that's it anything that's happening they're gonna just you know your phone i said lord i don't want it on my phone you might say oh sister karen's a bit that's a bit silly isn't it you might say oh sister karen that's a bit silly what if there's a terrorist attack and you need to know don't worry i'll know trust me i will know all right um but my conversation with ahaya is i don't want it on my phone what date is it today? 15th. So I did that video run about, I can't remember the day, but it's about a couple of days ago or so. So today the 15th, hallelujah to the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth. The Bible said, make your request, make knowing unto the Lord. When you, need to, when you, when you speak to the Lord and you, t you tell him your heart, he will direct you, brothers and sisters. On the 15th of April, 2023, around about maybe 9 o'clock in the morning, brothers and sisters, I was I will going on Google to go to my Amazon account. I wanted to get something for my little boy because his birthday is coming up. 
and um, as I clicked on Google, something popped up like it was just right there in my face. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Ahaya, here's my heart and here's my prayer. This article that popped up just, just, just sprung up right in front of me. I'm like, whoa. And it's the article read something like this. Babel, no, it doesn't call them Babylon, but we call them Babylon. It says Babylon UK will be sending out alert system, alert messages on the 23rd of April, 2023 at 3 p.m. But this will cause some disturbance or put uh, uh, people's life in risk, at risk who has two phones who is in an abusive relationship. So if you're in a if so if you're in an abusive relationship and you have two phones, but one of your one of your phones, your partner don't know about it. When this alarm comes and it starts to make noise or whatever it's going to do, and that partner is there with you, then it's going to cause problems. So these people, these domestic advocate people, are saying to the dirty Caesars, don't send out these alerts because you're putting a lot of people's life at risk who has two phones. And the the, 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 the the perpetrator or the partner that's beating them up or abusing them don't know about the secret phone. Because the secret phone is a phone like police or whatever, or, you know, the shelter just in case, whatever, whatever. So I thought to myself, oof, this is interesting. Um, these people, are, they don't want no alerts on the phone. So I clicked on this article. And then when you read it, it says... We will show you how to disable emergency alerts so you don't get any on that particular day or ever, like ever, never get any alerts. I'm like, ah, yes, father, I will listen to me. Ahaya never lies. Ahaya cannot lie. He knows your heart. He hears your heart, right? Brothers and sisters, I felt so good. I was like, yes, 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 Ahaya, glory be to the most star. Because I didn't want the alert, because I know what the alert is for. It's tracking. It's just a track, everybody, because you see, they're coming with the digital money. They're coming with the, this is what a lot of people don't know, that they're coming with the digital money, the digital currency. They're going to come and tell you that the paper money is no good, that the coins are no good. Everything is digital, whether it's by your phone, whether it's by a ring, apparently, anything except, except, except paper monies and coins. They will get rid of it. So they have to track people. They have to, right? So in this article, it says um, because of the risk to domestic abusive um individuals we will show you how to disable the alert system on your phone the emergency alert system so you don't ever ever get any alert brothers and sisters i was so happy because i didn't want to turn my phone because i know what it is my spirit was it will, i felt i felt that i don't know but to me i felt that if the dirty caesars send that alert to me phone on the 23rd of april at 3 p.m I don't know. It's like a piece of me. They've taken a piece of me. That's how I feel. Because I know it's not, I know that the intention is not good. The intention of this alert, it is not good. It is tracking. That's all it is. It's tracking, tracking. You into that B system, they're tracking you, right? So in this article, um, I need to try and find it and then put it on me. All right. Okay. I'm going to put it on me. Um, me. Um, my web page and i leave the link so you can read it for yourself uh, and you can go through it and see they tell you how to disable android iphone this phone oh my days i got my ipad here after the same thing for my ipad i need to do the same thing for me my children them as well um i'm not going to the kids and, and disable that alert business all right, because everybody, everybody who's got technology is going to get it. So I've disabled minds, like, in a jiffy, completely disable it. It's in, it is in settings, go into settings and, what is it? You're going to settings and you click on 
emergency a file emergency alert but when you go into settings there's a search bar in settings you can type in emergency alert it comes up so it's the emergency alert stuff where you just click all of them the total bar go off the blue click them off no vibration no message no phone calls nothing no earthquake everything I, cl I click it all off click it all off these people are too invasive of our privacy I'm sorry why can't they have um sorry like what they have in in in, in the world in World War two because Babylon UK in in World War two at the in that era in the 1930s they had siren up in the airspace, so when anything is coming, any incoming, whatever, the the siren goes off, like, and everybody in every city know what time it is. What if you left your phone at work? What if you leave it at home? You don't have your phone with you. It doesn't matter anyway, cause everybody, you, it's technology, so people will be talking. People will be talking. They have these massive billboards. Use the billboards instead of putting up naked women. And naked men and and, 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 and and advertising things of the devil use the billboard when an alert is coming in and use that and put your alert business on it but they want the control of our phones that's what they do don't let them have control over your phones brothers and sisters I know eventually we'll have to give up the phones right um, when the mark of the beast comes in and they, when they go full QR code, they got to scan this to get into your phone. But in the meantime, while we have normality, so to speak, don't let these devil have control over your phone. I'm not telling you what to do. Some of you is fine, you know, you like the alerts and this and that and whatever you, you do your thing. But for me and my house, from where I'm standing, I don't want it because the intention is not good. And like I say, when the fallen angel invade our space up there in the sky with their dirty flying saucer, I can guarantee you, you ain't going to get no alerts. Because they're going to be in league with the fallen ones. They're not like going to say, yeah, they're your friends, the the friendly beings, this, that. They're from. So no, I don't want no alert on my phone. I will know when destruction and danger is happening. Because everything is going to happen around you. And we're always prepared. Always. Your alert is your observation. Because Ahaya told Yesaya, right? Before he, um, he ascended up into glory, he says that what? Observe all things. Observe all. That is your alert. You don't need no alert of man. Ob learn to observe the times and the seasons around you. And you will always be in the know how. Because even if you don't, yeah, I don't have me alert on my phone. But if I'm out and about and other people have their alert, then everybody's going to say, oh, they're going to talk. You're going to know that something is happening. You will know that something is happening. You go in the supermarket, they said, oh, we've got to close. No, no, we've got to close emergency. Then you're going to know. So you will, people will know what's going on around them. But... Ahaya heard my prayer. I did pray. I spoke to Ahaya. I said, Ahaya, I don't want these devils to send no alert to me phone. I don't want it, Ahaya. I prayed about it. And then this morning, hallelujah, glory be to the most high. On the 15th of April, 2023, the thing popped up. And it says how to disable the alert so you don't get no government alerts coming in on your phone. So, yes, brothers and sisters, listen, these, these devils are, are tricky because they're ruled by Lucifer. They are ruled by Satan, like literally ruled by the devil. All right. So you have to understand the times and the season that we're living in because it is high time. All right. So I wanted to come and just do this video about the alert business, okay? Like I said, I'm not telling everybody what to do. But for me, I spoke to higher for myself. I told them. I said, I don't want it, Lord. And then the article, this thing just popped up and showed us how. Hallelujah. Like I said, I'm going to, um, I'll leave the link. I'll leave the link on my website. All right, you can go to my website, but I'll do it and leave it on the website. All right, okay. If I come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Yesiah as Lord and Savior. Um, 
please say the sinner's prayer after me. We want you into the kingdom. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. Hallelujah. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. Uh, it's loading up, brothers and sisters. I'm sorry. It's just loading up right now. So if I can see, I don't know, top of my head. Um, dear Yesaya, the Christ, I know that you are the son of Ahaya, whom I'm saying it out of my head. <laughs> but the thing is not loading up. Devil is a lie. Come on. <sighs> I need a new, I need a new, I need a new tablet. This one is slow as a slow coach. It's not even doing anything. Old and slow. I don't even know if any alerts gonna come to this, but anyway, I'm gonna disable it. Whatever is in there. All right. Um, the Messiah of Christ. I know that you are the son of Ahia, whom the world calls God. I believe that Messiah died on the cross for my sins. Messiah, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahaya, Messiah, king of glory. Oh my gosh, devil is a liar. Messiah, king of glory, I come before you right now. I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways, Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Messiah. And I pray that you'll help me to live a life of repentance and give up things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said the prayer, I believe in your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts chapter 2 verse 38. <clears throat> Where the Bible talks about repentance, you've done the repenting part. You now need to find a man of the most higher, asking to fully baptize you, fully dunk you in water. When you go down in water, you're saying that you said that on the cross, you believe in atonement of sin. When the man of the most high raises you out of the water, you're raising to new life, you're raising to the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection. Beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with a higher, just like Enoch, and have the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most higher who lives above the heavens. I, I eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, Sunday in glory, in your sight's holy name, amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, the Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless, before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise Isaiah, or Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.